Hi everyone, I am Marie and today we are making the next vlog. The name of the vlog is And the Tea Kettle Kept On Singing. And this is from Mrs. Smith, number 72. Let's get started. Okay, let's get started. From uh, I already cut the ones with the templates. D, one piece. E and F, four pieces, the C12, the B8, and the A112 uh, and 1.8. And so let's put it together. The first step is doing this four, and then we will, oops, I'll do this two and then put it on, add it to there. I am going to go to the machine and I'm hoping that I can film over there so I can talk to you through it. All right, I'm going to try to do this like this. I don't know, I am looking in the camera upside down, so I don't know, but let's do this. And because this is so small, um, right sides together, and let's do it. Together. And there it goes. Put this two on there. First, yes, then we have the four little blocks, the one, this is the B, I believe, and these are going together, right size together. Right sides together. I had all cut the 12C, uh, 12, uh, 72C, I had 12 of this, 
but I noticed that the middle is a, a star so it have to be the same color as the center so I cut eight pieces of that color and now let's see how Okay, all right, so this is the way they're supposed to go. If you get it the other way, you're gonna get the points to the other side, you know, like for the star, so that will be no good. So that way, you have the yellow ones being the points of the star, okay? So this case is the red together and not well the yellow is also together but it's not on the scene okay all right this is the block all done and as you can see we have very big print, very small, medium, and this way you can see the pattern. So the next one is the paper piecing. All right, so now it's the paper piecing. And what I do is I cut all the pieces like I did before, not on the dashed line, but a little bit outside the line. And what I do, I just get the diagram and just color. So I take how many fabrics I have to use and a color for each that I understand. So I chose this, that and that then I see where I want those fabrics and I just color then I go on my templates or in my uh, paper piecing pattern and I just put a little bit of the color on it so I don't get confused even though it can be sometimes very confusing and sometimes well often we make mistakes so this is the way that I do it that I think that is easier for me so all right so I did this already so okay I just I'm not going in any order I just put them all on top of each other and I'm just going to start so this one number one is the green and that was this one and if you cannot track it you can just do with your like that so you know what is what and the one is a tiny piece so let's do that a tiny piece the glue at the back side as we know how to do already right side up there we go the number two is the pink
just cut these already. So, like we do before. It's the other way. Crease it. I have been here. So, there is where I put my fabric. Right side together. And we sew that line. Between the one and the two, which so let me okay. cut. Okay. Only thing is cutting it and the little block. Let's get it cut. And that's one done okay okay so here I have number one is the pink glue right side up So now is this all right? The next one is a, a green one, so that is this one. Okay. It's a bit Get your piece from. Just instead of doing this, just do it like that with the length of the to the side. Then when you do that, it's gonna be perfect. All right. So now you're gonna sew. And there we go. And then number three. Again. This is the blue one, All right? Yep. This doesn't matter because I have a square. There you go. All right. This is where we have been. And so.
And there you have that one. So I am going to do them all and then we are going to put them together. All right, so I have all the pieces. And so there is the block all together. And here you have, of course, the the order that you put them together. And here you can check all the time, check. And you'll see that this is how it goes. All right. Isn't this cute? All right. So this was the other one made first with the templates and the paper piece and as you can see they are both pretty good pretty good fabrics why we chose big print middle print and small here this was really big print but also the tone of the prints were um, not very different of the background color so it reads like maybe more of a solid and of course this one has some white in there but it's really solid small so and that's why it looks fine like this I really 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 love this but I mean I love pink and light blue so perfect I really love this fabric it's so gorgeous so I hope that you enjoyed it and I see you next week with the next vlog bye